maladroitly, M-A-L-A-D-R-O-I-T-L-Y, maladroitly. That is correct. It is the same exact feeling of like happiness. I'm really excited to go on and represent my school in the district in the next round of competition. There's not really that much difference between this year and last year. I looked at a few lists, but honestly, reading was the thing that expanded my vocabulary the most and made me able to spell those words. We have a really strong reading culture. Um, literally, the library is the center of our school. Um, so our kids are reading all the time and I think, as Saskia said, that's the secret sauce. You should definitely read a lot. Reading is, it will really help you a lot because you're exposed to so much words and it's all on a page. And stories can just be really good sometimes. The words are definitely harder this year. Last year I was not as good of a speller so we got a lot of words wrong and then they brought down the level of the words. So this year was definitely harder words. I felt uh, pretty good. I wasn't really expecting to get too far, but I was pretty satisfied. I would have been satisfied even if I got like 10th place. So I'm I'm even satisfied that I got here. But not only did it feel like a weight lifting off of my back, it also felt like felt like a wave of happiness. So I mean, I was pretty confident, but it was very very nerve wracking. The first place winner, I was scared of her, to be honest with you, because she just spelled with confidence, you know, and I was like, uh, I was very nervous. I had expectations of myself, along with people who had expectations of me. It was very nerve-wracking, because I would sit there and I'd be like, I know how to spell this, just how many letters of the letter are there? So, it was frustrating. I started studying for about 30 minutes to two hours a day, depending on how much I felt like it. And what I would do is I would go through the list once without studying it or anything. I, my mom would just quiz me. And then I would work on the words that I got wrong. And then I would continue doing that until, well, the spelling bee. And it worked out pretty well. I guess if you're trying to spell words, try to break them up into syllables. It would probably make things easier. Definitely study. That's not something that I really counted on. I sort of just would spell things out in my head and also read a lot. That's definitely what's helped me become a better speller is just reading books that challenge me.